right people in this video we are all going to come to terms with the fact that school has already begun so this is a back to school video and I know most of you have probably already gone back to school but you're still in school so it can still apply <laughs> in this back to school video I am going to show you guys two different looks that I wear to school pretty much on an everyday basis so the first look is extremely minimalistic and I usually do that on days that I am late or days that I don't care too much. But the second look is a little bit more primped. I usually wear the second look that I'll show you guys um, on days that I just want to be a little bit more fancy. I hope you guys enjoy the two looks and after the looks I will also... Uh, after I show you guys the two looks, I'll also show you what I carry in my backpack. So I hope you guys enjoy these two looks and let's get started. Alright, so I'm starting out with no makeup and I'm clearly ecstatic about these breakouts that I'm having, but no worries because my Revlon Photo Ready Concealer will just cover that right up. So I'm going ahead and placing that under my eyes and down my cheeks a little bit on the sides of my nose, top of my lip for some highlighting, and of course cover up any blemishes. I'm then going to go and blend all of my concealer out with a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. Now that my concealer is blended in, I'm going to go ahead and bronze my face with Too Faced Chocolate Soleil's bronzer and a Real Techniques contour brush, and I'm just putting that on the hollows of my cheeks. Now that the skin is pretty much done for, I'm going to go ahead and curl my eyelashes in preparation for mascara. For mascara, I am going to use the Lash Out Butterfly Mascara and I'm just going to put on a few coats of that onto both of my eyes. Lashes are done and now it's time for the final touch which is lipstick. I have the perfect shade of pink lipstick and it's called Sunny Seal by MAC and it is literally the perfect everyday pink color. And that is it for the first look, super simple and minimal. So starting with look number two, it is simple yet bold. I'm just going to pick up right from where I left off on the first look and I'm going to grab my liquid liner which is my favorite. So here I am doing just half of a wing and I am going to start in the center of my eye rather than going across the whole perimeter of my eye and just create that nice accent of a wing. Next, I am going in with Luminoso Blush from Milani and I'm just blending that into the bronzer that I had placed on earlier. And on top of that, I am going to take some highlighter. This is Mary Luminizer by The Bomb and I'm going to put that down the bridge of my nose and the high points of my cheeks. I'm going to grab my flat shader brush and use that same highlighter as an eyeshadow and I'm just going to place it on my inner tear duct and a little bit on my lid. Now to add a little bit more definition, I'm taking my Naked Basics palette and I'm taking the dark brown color called Faint on a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend that into my crease. For my brows, I don't like to fill them in dramatically every day, so I love using this Gimme Brow from Benefit Cosmetics. It's just the perfect brow gel that just kind of adds some volume to your brows without filling them in dramatically with a pencil or something like that. Next, I quickly set my under eye concealer with a thin layer of powder. Now 
I'm just going to wipe off any leftover lipstick that I might have had on from before to prep my lips for a new bright lipstick. This one is called Vegas Vault by MAC and I love wearing a bright pop of color on my lips for school when I have more plain face and eye makeup on. And this is the completed second look. I hope you guys enjoyed and now we can move on to seeing what I carry in my school bag. So this is my school bag. It's kind of like a canvas bag. It's not too fancy. I usually just strap it over my arm and then like flop these straps down. This is my everyday bag. It'll probably change maybe once I find one that I like better. Oh, and this bag is from The Gap. For starters in my bag, I always keep a folder with me. You never know when your teacher is going to give you a handout and you don't want it really to get like wrinkled. I don't know, I'm just a little OCD that way. Um, and I like to keep things really organized, so I always have a folder with me. The second thing, of course, is my binder. I got a white one just because I was hoping to kind of make a collage and then just slide it in here. I like to make things look a little bit more fun, just so it kind of makes me more excited for the day of school that I have ahead of me. The next thing I keep, of course, is my makeup bag. In it, I um, keep all the makeup that I am wearing that day. The next thing I keep is another uh, small little baggie. Just keep all my writing utensils in there. I also keep a little notebook. I keep this because I like to write whatever assignments or homeworks that I will have for the day. So inside the bag it has this little um, zipper pouch thing as you can see. I like to keep my wallet which has my ID and my money. Um, I keep my house keys in here and I also keep my iPod with me. I will also sometimes keep my notebook that I put all my YouTube video ideas in. I like to keep this book on me sometimes because if I have an idea on the spot I hate when I forget it so I just try and write it down as soon as I get the idea for a video before I end up forgetting it and then never knowing what I want to do again. Alright, so now you guys know the go-to looks that I wear to school and you know how I pack my bag and what I keep in it. So I hope I helped you guys prepare yourselves. If you liked this video, just give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!